this woman won an amazing $8.5 million jackpot, or so she thought. If you're a gambler, then no matter what your favorite game is at the casino, if you end up being declared a winner, you expect to be paid. However, for one Portland, Oregon woman named Veronica Castillo, she unfortunately had to learn the hard way that that isn't always the case. After a trip to the Lucky Eagle Casino in Rochester, Washington, Veronica was left stunned when the casino staff refused to pay her the jackpot she'd won while playing on one of their slot machines. So what happened? Well, the truth behind this bizarre scenario is stranger than any fiction. Have you ever been a big winner at the casino? Let us know in the comments below, and then don't forget to leave this story a like and make sure to subscribe for more just like it. Veronica wasn't an avid gambler, but when she found herself on the gaming floor of the Lucky Eagle Casino during a planned vacation, she was excited to try out the variety of different slot machines that were surrounding her. She was ultimately looking to just have a little bit of fun that day, but shortly after arriving at the lavish casino, her day then suddenly changed completely. Veronica had made her way over to a random pair of slot machines to get her day of playing started, but after placing just $100 into one of the machines, she was shocked to hit a major win after just two pulls from the lever. Her $100 investment had instantly turned into a whopping $8.5 million jackpot within a matter of moments. At least, that's what Veronica thought at first anyway. Before she could even celebrate her victory, staff members from the casino immediately came over and explained that she wouldn't actually be collecting any of the money from her jackpot. They claimed that the machine had malfunctioned and that it had mistakenly declared Veronica a winner when she hadn't actually won anything at all. I was very excited and happy, and then I couldn't believe it. She later remembered of the incident. She was immediately shown a sticker placed on all the slot machines that reads, all pays and plays on these machines are voided if they malfunction. A clever way for the house to protect its money indeed. Veronica, however, was not having any of it. To me, it's cheating, may even be fraudulent, she stated. My first thought was, how many people has this happened to? They think they've won, then they go away empty-handed. The CEO of the Lucky Eagle Casino, John Setterstorm, later claimed that he'd never seen this type of incident occur at his establishment ever since it opened its doors back in 1995. The casino then released an official statement regarding the false jackpot. In part, the statement read, Rocket Gaming Systems, the machine manufacturer, is in the process of conducting a forensic investigation to determine the cause of the display malfunction that occurred on the machine Ms. Castillo was playing. This machine offers a maximum jackpot of $20,000 if a maximum bet is placed on all lines. The statement continued, the maximum jackpot that Ms. Castillo could have won based on the number of lines and credits she was betting is $6,000. None of this made Veronica feel any better about her stroke of bad luck. As a consolation, the casino then offered her a measly sum of 80 bucks, plus a free stay in one of their guest suites for the rest of the weekend. That was not nearly enough to satisfy Veronica, however, who still felt that she'd been cheated out of her winnings. And the casino's offer of a free stay just felt like they were adding insult to injury. Since the incident at the Lucky Eagle, Veronica's been spending the majority of her time seeking the advice of an attorney who may be able to help her in the case of false jackpot. She also wants to get the word out to fellow gamblers in order to show them how casinos really work behind the scenes, so that maybe incidents like what happened to her that day can be avoided in the future. What I expect, at the very least, is to create awareness about how the casinos work when the players get the big winnings," she said. Veronica thought for a moment that she'd struck it big on the slot machines of the Lucky Eagle Casino, but after walking away practically empty-handed, she's now committed to seeking justice, and sooner rather than later. The whole story just seems downright unfair. Do you think that Veronica should be awarded her jackpot? Let us know in the comments below, and then don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing content.